Hi, Claire. Can you tell me what your full name and what you do with, with Wiz? Well, my name is Claire Castell. I work for Wells Fargo, and uh, my uh, connection to Wuss was that I'm a founder, one of the four women that founded Wuss. In 1992, at the Suji in Hawaii, we were chatting, and one of us, maybe me, said, oh, we should start our own regional group. Got uh, Tracy Cermak from American Honda involved, and got Helene Cavior and uh, Sal Sally Carson involved. So the four of us women started this organization. So how did that name came about, uh, Wuss? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, it was, it was a matter of serious debate when we were founding the organization, um, because not everybody thought it was a good idea, because obviously it's kind of silly. Um, Glenna Tano thought it up. You know, back when we had the base SAS meetings, we mm -hmm. have a, a SAS, uh, what we called the technical session after mm -hmm. base SAS meeting, which meant we just went and had beers and drinks and stuff, yeah. so there's nothing technical about it. But in any case, we would yuck it up, and Glenn came up with the idea. I think he reverse engineered the name, you know, thinking of silly titles, and then Anyway, so he came up with Wuss, Western Users of SaaS Software. Yeah. <laughs> so some of us thought it was a great idea, mm. and, uh, and the committee debated it heavily, and those of us in favor won out, and uh, I'm glad. I'm glad we did. It's a silly name, but, you know, people remember it. It's definitely different than the other swig, uh, SUGs in, in the, uh, the various areas. Yeah, that was part of it. I didn't like all the SUG names. Mm -hmm. The knee SUG and the, this SUG and this, you know, sounds too much like slug. And, right. You know, that didn't sound What do you think is different between WIS uh, as an organization compared to other user groups that they have for SAS? Well, I think it's modeled after NISUG. I think they were the original region, regional group, and we were, you know, talking to those folks. So, I, in terms of difference, I think not, not especially different. I think the whole regional idea is, is was a good one, you know, as opposed to just a local one or the national one. The national one's so big, people get lost at it. You know, I think this way. It's only 300 people. You kind of get to know people. Yeah, it's a, a different experience yeah. uh, at a uh, regional. So are you involved in, in any activities now with WIS at all or um, in terms of organizing or no, a conference No, I'm, I'm not on any committees, although I'm really excited about that uh, scholarship program they mm -hmm. offered this year. And I was going to see who I need to talk to to see if I can volunteer to help with that uh, next year. I thought that was very cool. I love that. So what is the scholarship program? I, I heard a little bit about how it allows students to attend the conference, but do you know anything about it? No, I don't. It? I don't. I'm, I'm very interested in finding out what, uh, how people qualified, and, and I just love the fact that they got college kids in here and mm -hmm. got a glimpse of what their world might be, good or bad, <laughs> you know, all these geeky programmers. But. Outside of the WIS world, what is your uh, day job now? Uh, my day job at Wells Fargo, I manage a little business intelligence group, I like that name. We, we work for deposit risk, so the people that I work for and with are all statisticians and we are looking for, uh, we're trying to protect the bank from fraud and uh, some credit risk. As we open accounts, we want to make sure we get the right people, you know, in the bank, not the wrong people. And we want to make sure that when we do have customers, that they are uh, not defrauding the bank. And it's uh, been very interesting. I've been doing this about going on six years, and I still don't know everything yet. It's uh, so I haven't got bored yet. So that's important. It seems like. A component of it is you do like management since you manage or help form the WIS organization and that's part of your day job as well. Is there something about, uh, I guess, management that inspires you as it relates to the work that you do? Well, you know, there's lots of bennies to be in, in management. You get to make all the decisions, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, or many of the decisions. Um, I like the ability to control my destiny and set the vision. Um, I hope that doesn't sound a little too shitty, but it, you know, I want to, 
if I see that something's important as in management, I can influence the direction of uh, our development or whatever it is that we're working on. So that's kind of cool. Well, that's great. Great. Well, thanks a lot, Clara. Okay.